Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I want to find my parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. You're not thinking of going after her alone, are you? Good luck, Reed. I mean that. Clementine! This is a good idea. Just some surgical supplies. Just some surgical supplies. like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. This isn't good.
We go. Gotta get up. Must be thousands of them. I need to figure out a way to get down and somehow across town. Maybe head back towards the mansion and go after her from there. Some poor bastard took a spill. It's an extension ladder. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Looks like Crawford Square over there. It leads down to the street. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Well, 
last fella who used it took a tumble. It's an extension ladder. Tower, like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. No way I'm jumping that. That's the church across the street from the mansion. Rubber Street should be just beyond that. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. for starters. It's not the time to fall on your fucking face again. are all headed this way. Gotta get out of this tower. Jump. God damn. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Time.
Time to go. They fucked us! What? Who? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just... Fuck! Did they have Clementine? No, definitely not. She's not with you? She's with someone else. Her parents were in Savannah, and I think someone used that against her. Well, we're going after her, right? Yeah, of course. What the fuck is that on your wrist? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. Small, stupid thing. But yeah. Oh my god. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! We're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It's definitely having an impact. I passed out a couple times, just feeling like shit in general. But I've got time. Let's not worry about it. Oh, God. Everything just... Uh. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually needs... Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourself. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. We have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right. We get another boat. But not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista, get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny, look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi, what is it? Front doors! Ah! <laughs> Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Ready to fight. 
This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the third. Industrial Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. Thought about cutting it off. But I didn't. You could have cut it off? I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. 
Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I've been bitten by a walker. So you thought we'd turn on you. Sure. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. Or tingly, like it's asleep. So when you get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine. That's the focus. Despite how I feel, I... I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Find her. Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista, we could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah, of course. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers.
I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. What do you call this thing? Art? Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Streets are full. Hundreds of them. Yeah, we're not going out this window. is full too. Stay quiet. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? <laughs> 